<laughs> Romance is fun, but true love is something far more, and it is their desire to love each other for life, and that is what we are celebrating here today. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitement marriage should bring, and may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness, but to help to know your fullness. The mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not out and circle one another. May you succeed at all important ways with one another, and not fall in the low graces. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. When you have quarrels, or I should say if you have quarrels, well let's say when, that push you apart, <laughs> may both of you hope to have good enough sense to take the first step back. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find a loving one another. Marriage is an open and intimate union. It is an act of faith and a personal commitment that is intended to last a lifetime. Marriage has been described as the best and most important relationship that can exist between two human beings. The closest should always strengthen, not diminish, the individuality of each partner. For hundreds of years, men and women have exchanged rings as a symbol of their vows. The wedding ring seals the vows of marriage, just as a signature bears witness to a written contract. The ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and it has no end. No giver and no receiver. For each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken this afternoon. So take step nation. He has it. So place on our step nation's finger, repeat after me, Frank. This is a tough part. <laughs> I, Frank, take you, Stephanie, to be my lawful wedded wife. I, Frank, take you, Stephanie, to be my lawfully wedded wife. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. You through sickness and health. Through sickness, sickness and health. Through good times and bad. <laughs> good times and bad. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. With this ring, I be wed and forever pledge my devotion. With this ring, I be wed and forever pledge my devotion. <laughs> pledge my devotion. Right. Yeah, uh, Frank's ring. Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, put uh, Frank's finger and repeat after me. You got the benefit of hearing it the first time. So. <laughs> uh, I, Stephanie, take you, Frank, to be my lawful wedded husband. I, Stephanie, take you, Frank, to be my lawful wedded husband. To love, honor, and cherish you. To love, honor, and cherish you. Through sickness and health. Through sickness and health. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. Until death do us part. With this ring, I be wed and forever pledge my devotion. With this ring, I be wed and forever pledge my devotion. Great. We have come together today in this place, and I've heard the willingness of both Frank and Stephanie to be joined in marriage. They have come here of their own free will, and in our presence have made a pledge of faithfulness. They've each given and received a ring as a seal of their promises. By the act of joining hands, you take to yourselves the relation of husband and wife solemnly. Today, before your family and friends, you have promised to love, honor, and cherish each other so long as you both shall live. Therefore, in accordance with the laws of Connecticut and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut, I do pronounce you husband and wife. Frank, kiss your bride. <laughs> Services Frank and Stephanie here. Mm -hmm.